How do you find community configs? Easiest way is through Steam Big Picture, but we do not have to get, well, uh, yeah, let me back up, okay. So easiest way is through Steam Big Picture. Let's cover that. How do you get into Steam Big Picture? One way is to just push the Steam Controller button. You might have to push it twice, just like once to get focus onto the Steam window and then once to open it. So this is Steam Big Picture, but let's get out of there. So, okay. The other way is you go to there, that little icon of a controller says Steam Big Picture. So we go in there. Library, um, yeah, let's just go with Guts and Glory. This, I actually haven't even played this yet. Just came out. I just got access because I was a Kickstarter backer. So, all right. You go to the, click A to go into details of the game. We want to manage the game and controller configuration. Click on that. So now it's pulling up not something at all that I want. It's just pulling this up because this was the last one that I used. We want to push X to browse configs. You can see it down there on the bottom. X browse configs. That's fine. So okay. From here we have personal. These are ones that I would have made and saved. Not sure why that's showing up for this game. Oh, I remember. It's, yeah. I was saving that profile to put it up on the Steam Controller database because people were asking me in that For Honor video. Neither here nor there. So usually this would not, that's just kind of a special situation that that's showing up for me. Tab down to community. So actually there is nothing uploaded for this game. This was a terrible idea and I'm a complete failure. So no, let's let's go back and do a different game. That's not gonna show up because that's a non-Steam game. Let's try Take On Mars. Manage controller. Browse. So alright, yeah, there's we go we go down to community, boom, and then you would push A to import. That's it. And then you have it. Now we push X to browse. Another thing, if you're making your own, you go to templates. So like right here, this is a template that I have made and I saved that has my preferred settings. But you're going to have the ones that Valve put in there, you know, some basics. But I highly suggest, you know, save some templates and how you do that it's basically you know like i have my stuff here export and that's just a template that's it and save that as a new template then that would show up very easily for all games that you play so, all right let's go to another example something that would have uh something that would have a bunch of yeah arma just to show you. So we go to controller configuration. Browse configs. Uh, I don't think I made changes to that. Community. There you go. Now you're seeing a big old list of stuff. It's These are the ones I have uploaded to the community. But yeah, In the community configs you're going to see all the other profiles other people have made. You can push Y to show other controller types. This would also apply if you're using a 360 controller, a DS4. Yeah, so right there, now it's showing me Steam controller. There's one, PlayStation 4. So yeah. It also works for other controllers. Now, that is pretty, you know, pretty quick overview of community configs. One other thing I wanted to mention, though. Let's get out of here. Now you don't have to be in big picture mode to do that. You can also, uh, let's go, yeah. Right click on the game, edit Steam Controller configuration. It's pulling it up right here with you too. It's just, it's a little compromised because it's smaller. Like it's not showing me X to uh, browse. But you can still do it. Get in there and do that. So yeah, you don't have to be in big picture mode to edit the configs. 
And then also, while I have you, under in-game, you want Steam Overlay while in-game, and use Big Picture Overlay when you're using a Steam controller. So it will let you config, so it'll let you um, configure the controller while in-game. And one thing a lot of people don't seem to realize, you need Big Picture Mode for action set notifications and touch menus. Like, I've read a lot of people disable Big Picture Mode because they hate it. Well, you can do that, but you are technically losing some features of the controller. If you're just making a basic configuration, sure, whatever, it's going to work fine. But if you want the full, full power of the controller, keep that checked. So, okay, that's... I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over where where you find those community configs, but I still <laughs> I still managed to to ramble on a little bit and cover some other stuff, but that is my style. I like to be a little bit more conversational and just sort of show you show you stuff and try to teach you without being super structured and scripted with bullet points. But that is how you find community configs. And yeah, that's it. All right, I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>